Hi guys, Jeff at Slayers Racing. This video is about spark resters for two strokes. Um, we stock them for, you know, most of the brands. Uh, we heavily stock them on KTMs, Huskies, and Gas Gas, but we've got them for Shurkos and Betas and Yamahas and everything else. Uh, all right, so first of all, let's just talk about what a spark rester is. Well, it's, it's, it's a device inside the, the muffler that's supposed to uh, stop sparks from coming out the back of your exhaust and catching the forest on fire. All right, and my own personal opinion, and for whatever that's worth, about two cents, um, I think it's a bunch of BS. I think it's like a scam from, from the Forest Service because have you ever seen or heard of a two-stroke catching the forest on fire? Um, I've been doing this for 50 plus years and I've, I've never heard of that, but I suppose it could have happened. But what bugs me is that, uh, like here in our mountains in Colorado, we have to have a spark restroom, but the Jeeps that go down the Jeep roads, the same stuff that we go down sometimes, they don't have to have a spark restroom. So why is that? Um, anyhow, that's a whole other topic and uh, it's never going to get resolved. So, all right, so I'm going to start with the most expensive. That's this 2.1 FMF. This is my own personal favorite. It's what I've been using for years. And I use the 2.1 because it's got a larger canister than the rest of them. And it holds more packing, which makes it quieter and makes the service limits longer. So the packing lasts longer. And I'm all about quiet, guys. You know, we can't have super loud bikes and expect uh, all the other trail users to be happy. Um, number one complaint from other users is noise on motorcycles. So anyhow, that's my favorite. The 2.1 and the 2.0 is the next uh, in line price-wise. And it's real close to the Pro Circuit. Now this is not a Pro Circuit spark restless muffler. We don't even have one in stock right now. Uh, Pro Circuit stuff has been very difficult to get this year. And that this Pro Circuit spark restless, to be quite honest, don't sell that well to begin with. FMF's just crushed the market. That's 90% of our sales probably, these two mufflers. And uh, these are about equal sellers. I think actually the t this one, the two, is actually the bigger seller. Uh, but that's um, probably because of the price point. You know, it's, it's um, I don't know what it is, about $40 cheaper, I think. And if you see the tags in this video, uh, they might not be accurate because prices are changing constantly. So just check our website, salemsracing.com. All right, now these two spark arresters, uh, or these two exhaust systems, the muffler spark arrestor combination, use what's called a Chrisman style spark arrestor, K-R-I-Z-M-A-N. And those look like a bullet that has wings on it that are twisted. And they flow the best of all the spark resters. There's just two types. There's Chrisman, and then there's screen type, like that. And um, the Chrismans flow the best, and they don't clog up, um, no matter if you have rich jetting or, or whatever's going on with your engine to make it not burn cleanly. Uh, Chrisman spark resters don't plug up. All right, so third in line price wise would be uh, the Pro Circuit, which we don't have a good example of. This is just a regular motocross muffler. Um, but I believe they're Chrisman as well. I, like I said, I don't have one in stock, so I can't even verify that. And I went to their website and looked, and it does not say what it is, but I'm pretty sure that they're Chrismans. I've never heard of those having a, a clogging issue. And you can use any of these mufflers, uh, these muffler spark restor combinations. You can use them with FMF pipes, pro circuit pipes. So you can use this muffler on an FMF pipe. You could use this muffler on a pro circuit pipe. You can use them on the stock pipes. You can use them on all the brands of pipes out there. The, the DEP, um, Scalvini, all, you know, every pipe uh, will accommodate these mufflers. And all right, so the next one down from there would be this Promoto Billet. Um, 
end cap. So this one you have to do a little bit of work. You have to take the stock end cap off. You gotta drill out the rivets and put it on. So it's a little bit of work, but it's really not bad. It just, it doesn't take very long at all. I mean, everything from Fastway Promoter Billet has beautiful machining, as does this. Yeah. Um, we like the guys over there, the great guys that put out great products. Uh, but what I don't like about this product is that it's a screen type. You know, all these little add-on ones have to be a screen type. I don't think Chris Men's can be accommodated for that style. Uh, anyhow, it's a screen type, and the problem with screen types is, is they reduce the horsepower uh, a little bit more than the Chrisman style. But the bigger issue is, is that they, they plug up. Uh, the If your bike's not jetted properly, if your fueling's too rich on a fuel-injected model, uh, you know, that puts out a lot, a lot of, I'll call it soot, that clogs these things up, and then you have to burn them out. And that is not a big deal. And you do not have to remove it or do anything like that. All you have to do is have a little basic uh, propane, butane type torch and just stick it in the end. I've got a video on that on our website. It's on the muffler pages. And it shows you how quick you can do it within 30 seconds. You just, you, know, you, you burn them out, you start the motor, and it blows the carbon particles out the exhaust, and it's good to go. So I do not use um, the screen type because I don't care to deal with the maintenance. Um, I don't like adding a little piece on to the back, but these are very good sellers. So both of these right here, the Endure Engineering here on the right, is uh, of the screen types is definitely our biggest seller. Uh, these things add some weight, not a lot, but they do add a little. So any of you guys that are weight freaks, uh, you know, they add a little weight. I think these mufflers weigh about the same as the stock one, but I'll, I'll weigh some stockers and I'll put that information on, on the pages for those two products. Um, so the same thing here with this one is it's a screen type, and so you have to burn them out once in a while. Now, unfortunately, the Forest Service um, has a regulation for the, the size of the holes in the screen. So you can see that that screen is fairly fine. This screen is, it's got plastic, clear plastic over right there, but it's fairly fine. This one's pretty fine. And uh, this one is not, but this one is not for service legal. All right, so uh, Fastway Pro, Pro Moto Billet, screen type. Uh, you have to do the same thing with this Enduro Engineering one. You have to drill the rivets out and put it in. They give you a really sharp bit with these things. I think it's still in the package. Hopefully they still do that. But they used to give you really sharp bits and made it really easy to drill the rivets out. And then it comes with some self-tapping type screws that you put in to install this. <coughs> then we have the fish moto that just goes right into the end of the stock muffler. And uh, this product's made in Canada. They're great guys up there. I've not met them personally. Um, these other companies, I think I know everybody there, but uh, you know, I've been in the industry 50 plus years, so you can imagine I know I've got a long string of friends and acquaintances in the, in the industry. And uh, so the fish motor guys up in Canada, I've not met them, but we've talked on the phone. They're, they're good, hardworking guys that try to make a great product. My problem is, is that it hurts the horsepower a little too much for me. Um, all of them will soften the horsepower slightly, but these soften it even more. And we asked them to make this style screen uh, just so there wasn't such a reduction of horsepower. But the problem with all of with either style of the fish motor ones is is the design i mean there, there's no way around it with this design this is just an end result of the design you know they, they fasten in from those three threaded screws right there i was just a whole screw holes right now but uh the screws go in those three holes and so you can see it reduces the size of the hole i mean it's this part is smaller and then it gets even smaller where the screws are 
and that's uh, just the way it is with anything that's going to slide into the back of a stock muffler. Now on a big four stroke, a big 450, 500 four stroke that has a big hole in the back, you know, uh, in, the, in the pipe, we've never heard any complaints. I mean, for one thing, those bikes have more horse, horsepower than most people need, and it doesn't seem to make much of a difference, if, if any. Probably could see it slightly on the dyno, but, but on the two strokes, or any even the four strokes, like the smaller four strokes, a 150, a 230, or any of those small bore four strokes, uh, if you go stick in the, something in the back that reduces the size of the hole, it's going to make a horsepower difference. It just has to. These still sell for pretty well. Um, they're a well-machined product, a quality-looking product. If you're going to an event or a ride where it absolutely 100% has to be Forest Service approved, it's got the Forest Service number on it right there. This one does not. Um, in Colorado, I've never seen a Forest Service guy get down on his hands and knees and clean the muffler and look for the numbers. So I've never seen that happen. I doubt that I ever will. But uh, what they typically do is they'll have a, a dowel rod, or like a wooden dowel rod in their back pocket, and they'll stick it up inside the muffler to see if it goes on through. And if it doesn't, then they're good. They don't even, usually don't even go any farther than that. If you're in a, some type of event, maybe it's some type of uh, charity ride or some whatever, and there's a Forest Service Ranger that inspects everything, Maybe they'll inspect the numbers. I don't know. Um, what we suggest these two for are for people that like once a year they go somewhere or to some event um, to where they absolutely have to have a spark arrestor and they don't want to spend $200. Yeah, you know, these are I think around the $80 range, but all the, the pricing for all these are on our website, slavensracing.com in the, muffler uh, exhaust section you go to exhaust and mufflers and so I personally don't use these and I won't because uh, high elevation here we need all the horsepower we can get if you have a bike maybe that's kind of a handful for you maybe it'd be good to slow it down slightly by putting one of these in or like I said if you're going to a, an event once a year that requires it it's a it's a good option for that all right, guys, uh, let's see, other questions that customers ask. Oh, I think the common, was, common one is, is guys seem to think that you have to have the matching pipe and silencer. So if you have an FMF pipe, you have to have an FMF silencer. That's not true. These will fit on all, all pipes. So whether it's the stock pipe, uh, FMF pipe, Pro Circuit pipe, DEP, Scalvini, you know, the list goes on and on. All of them, all those manufacturers make them to where all the mufflers fit. So in other words, you could have a pro circuit um, muffler and put it on an FMF pipe. And the reverse, you could put an FMF muffler on a pro circuit pipe, or you can put it on the stock pipe or any other pipe out there. So they all interchange. You don't have to worry about that as long as it's for the year and model of your bike. And all those listings are on our site pretty easy to understand but if you don't ever if you don't understand or you just need to verify something you can drop us an email at info at slavensracing.com or uh, give us a call um, we answer the phone all day every day Monday through Friday my staff is well trained and they can answer your questions and we're happy to do so um, and I think that's about it on two stroke um, spark arresters. Most important thing is that you uh, get out and ride, though, guys. Put on whatever muffler you, muffler you need for your area. Get out and shred some rubber. Have a good time. Do some throttle therapy. And help out with your trails if you can. That's all for now. <laughs>